Hey guys, so today I am doing a traveling life hacks video and I recently just got back from Alabama so the packing and everything and all the getting ready and just going places and all of that I just I realized I needed some life hacks. So I did a little bit of research and I found some awesome life hacks that I incorporated in when I traveled because sitting in a car traveling or even on an airplane, you know, you only have so much space. So I put these together and I hope you like them. So let's get into it. Life hack number one. When you pack something, like take it and roll it up. So like when you like roll up a shirt, so like fold it. Yes, this is it. Fold it and then just roll it down and then pack it like that because it's gonna make everything like more space and it's gonna keep it from getting wrinkled because like if you were to just like fold it, just be like there, it's been, I don't even know what that was. Or even if you were just to take it and like uh, fold it like this or something, it could get wrinkled. So the perfect, the roll, whatever, works perfect. Life hack number two, when you travel in, you know, like if you're on a plane or something, you can only have the little travel size things. So like with makeup or something, take little con the little contact thing I, I don't know if there's contact container, I don't know if there's a specific name for that. Take one of those things and like put like your concealer in it and then put like some primer or whatever else that you possibly could need in it. Okay. Life hack number three. three. When you pack like your razor or something, take a paper clip and put it inside the little paper clip part and then clip it together. Life hack number four. When you go on a plane and you know you're sitting there on your phone or whatever watching a movie or something you can actually get a little phone stand and stick it right there on the little tray and do that but also if you don't have that put your phone in a ziploc bag and close it up and then the little like clip latch thing i don't know but it keeps the tray up just lift the latch a little bit put the ziploc bag underneath it and you can sit right there and the awesome thing about it is the Ziploc bag, you can still touch your phone. So if you need to do something on it or change the movie or whatever, you can still do that. But I feel like with the iPad, you'd have to get like a gallon size bag. I don't even know if your iPad would fit in that. Life hack number five. This is something that I know a lot of people know because I even knew this off the top of my head. But take like an empty um, chapstick, um, or even if there's still a little bit left, just take what's in there out, and then you can store like money or coins. if coins would fit in, I think a dime would fit in there. You can have your own little chaps, dime chaps, I don't know. I'm just talking. Um, but you could put your money or anything that could possibly fit in there. Life hack number six. When you travel, bring a reusable water bottle. So like one of those plastic water bottles even work just fine. Because especially like when you're going through security and everything, you can't have your own drinks. So bring an empty plastic water bottle, put it in your bag, and then when it goes through, you know, there's no liquid in it, so you're not going to get in trouble for it. And then when you get to the other side, you can find a water fountain or wherever and fill it up. That way you don't have to spend your own money on water. Life hack number seven. This is something especially I use, like when I'm traveling in the car, especially. I happen to be in the middle of nowhere and I need a band-aid and I don't have one and I can't go find one at the store. This especially works. Take like any like necessities that you can possibly need, band-aid, medicine, just really anything and put it in like a bunch of Ziploc bags and then take like an old cloth that you don't use anymore and like glue it to it and then you can just open it up, take anything that you need out of it. Life hack number Eight. This is eight. Eight. Um, when you pack your suitcase, put a dryer sheet in it. It will actually, when you open it, it'll smell nice, and it will keep your clothes from smelling gross and dirty and like an airport. Okay. Life hack number two. When you go on trips and your necklaces get tangled, I know this happens to me a lot because I wear a lot of jewelry. When you go and you have necklaces and you've got to untangle it. It's like your earbuds getting tangled up and you're just like, great, now I can sit here and untangle it. Right, time this. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Take a, like, one of those, like, pill containers and it's got, like, the Sunday, Monday, you know, you know what I'm talking about. 
and you can put like your earrings in it. Also with like your necklaces, I know that my necklaces when they get tangled up, if you just put a straw through it and then connect it to the other side, it keeps it from getting all tangled and whatever. So this is especially something that I like to do in when I'm packing. Life hack number 10. If you have anything that could possibly spill in your bag, that could possibly leak or anything like that, take a plastic wrap, put it over the top of it, and then screw the top back on. And this will keep anything from leaking, opening, whatever. And finally, I don't necessarily know if I call this a life hack, but if you call it a life hack, then this is life hack 11. Have you seen those little like, you know, pack this things and it's got like a little checklist or whatever? Make a checklist. It will really help. And I always like traveling back and forth between my mom and dad's all the time. I especially know with something like that, keeping a checklist helps. Well, I hope that these helped you and when you travel next time, hopefully it'll help. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Number uno. One. Yes. What what is this? I don't know. Anyway, oh my gosh, there's like okay, like all my siblings are outside right now, and like it sounds like Fourth of July. My hair is struggling today. Oh my gosh.